Okay, if I get you both to close your eyes now, right? Now why you just point at a person whom you think manages finances better in the relationship? <laughs> Okay, okay, open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Was it what you expected? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it's quite an open thing between us. We both know that very well. So I can buy the same exact model of bag in three different colours. Mm, yep. Kai Sing Tzu Hao. We put three couples to the ultimate test. A lie detector. Sophisticated equipment. Sophisticated, <laughs> state of the art. Can these lovebirds trust their partners on money matters? Congratulations. <laughs> or will they face a shocking truth? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Malik. I'm 28, going 29. Hi, I'm Mon. Very excited to be here. Um, I'm 30 this year. We met at what at a bar that he used to work at. We haven't spent a single day apart since that day. My name's Amelia. I just turned 44 last week. I'm Joshua. Uh, I'm uh, 49 this year. I met uh, Amelia actually at my uh, previous job. I think the job brought me more than just my yeah. salary, I guess. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lian. I'm 28 years old. I'm Damien. I'm also 28 this year. So we've been together for almost one year? Yeah. Quite no, just kidding. A bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice if I need help. <laughs> Got tissue now. Too nervous, too nervous. Ready? Ever okay, ready. Start. Too nervous about this. I'm ready to get bust. Question time. Have you ever hidden a financial mistake from me? Oh, I don't think so. Yes. Yes. Have you? I know. Oh. oh my god, this is so... Oh! Yeah, it bust. But I was telling the truth. I always get approval from him before I buy stuff. So I went for facial, they always sell you a package. And I was very guilty about it for a while. But one of the things is, you know, you spend the money already, then you just make the best of it. I enjoy a game of Mahjong or two. <laughs> Sometimes I would understate the, the losses to him. Yeah. Keep the peace. Keep the peace mm -hmm. at home, yeah. <laughs> would you trust me to manage your finances? I don't even trust you to hit the button. Oh, sorry! <laughs> no, probably not. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't too. I'm very honest about it. So I'll read out some findings from our study. A little over a quarter of people think that talking about money too frequently can kill the romance. Does that kill the romance or do you think that's like sexier? Yeah, you just give me $5, you can turn me on. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, it's $15, yeah. <laughs> I think we try to see money just as a resource. It's a, it's a means to an end. I think we only spoke about it when it was necessary. Like, if it comes out, then we just, oh, then we just like ease into it. Is stability sexy? Is having a roof over your head sexy? If it is, then sure, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Have you ever hidden a purchase from me? Uh, yes. Yes. No lah, you pay for everything, then no lah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scott bust again. Okay, so I usually hide his like um, birthday present because most of the time it's over the budget. I did, I did, I did. I mean like your birthday present lah. Oh, you don't need to sleep on the floor tonight. <laughs> if I buy him a present, then I will hide from him uh, like a surprise thing right? After being together for so long, we kind of try to spend sensibly. Yeah, there is no ceiling to human desire, but you can put a cap on how much you want to spend. I, how many questions are, wow, this is, this electric shot is quite strong. Okay, I'm not nervous. <laughs> Do you think we should have spent less on the engagement ring? No. <laughs> Duh! I'm happy with the engagement ring, but I can't fit to it now. Ooh. <laughs> we also found out that on average, couples start to have serious discussions about money only after about 15 months of their relationship. Oh. So how soon into your relationship do you start to have really serious discussions about money? From the beginning when we decided we wanted to settle down. Both of us were very keen on a super serious, super long-term relationship when we came into it. Conversation on finances definitely start quite early. We took all the steps possible to make sure that we're on the same level, we're not right. wasting each other's time. If I am dating someone, I feel like I paid for more expensive stuff. Even though the other party might pay like three times, then I felt um, some resentment. I'm a man, I have ego, <laughs> and I'm proud. I think we didn't talk about whether if I choose to not take on a full-time uh, full corporate job, do we have a budget that goes to the main pool for like groceries and things like that? It's ongoing conversation. Yeah, ongoing conversation. It's ongoing, yeah. yeah. Very much so. So when you have things that you have to pay for, then you start planning for them, of course. Mm. But had we had those things to pay for earlier on, I think we would have started talking yeah. about it earlier yeah. on as well. <laughs> wow, please. This one, we have paid <laughs> Have you ever invested money in something to secure our future? together? Yes. 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 Maybe yes. Oh. <laughs> I just got buzzed again. Come 
fun. So it must not be for our future together. Well, not just us. Mm. I mean, like you know, future kids and stuff. So oh, yes, wow. I um, do invest in multiple like insurance, a little bit of jewelry here and there. For Just the children. For, yeah, for <laughs> the children. <laughs> I think one of the things we consciously did was to ensure that we live within our means. Kind of working backwards to see how much we should be kind of putting aside. I have uh, insurance that kind of matures when I'm 35. Because of the nature of housing in Singapore for LGBT couples, right? I think we need to plan just maybe a little bit more. I used to keep a lot of cash at home and that's how I stopped myself from spending too much money. Money is no longer in the safe at home. Please don't come to my house. Yes, There's no money there. Yeah. yeah. Right now, th there's a lot of robo-investors out there. I've started like putting away a fixed amount of money every month. Hence why I dated this sugar daddy. La. <laughs> Have you ever had a secret stash of money I don't know about? No. <laughs> I really don't have a stash of money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think financial compatibility is a deal breaker in a relationship? A thousand million percent. Yeah. If you're both savers, then it helps. If not one spends and one saves, all the time there'll be a lot of tension. Generally, if the personality of the person is to always impulse by, then I think that is a deal breaker for me. I'm glad he's a shopper too, so we do go out and shop here. So I'll be like, hey, this one can nice lot. I also learned how to kind of take a step back and say like, oh, okay, yeah, it's quite nice. The, and high, the of, boy going higher and higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five times I'll say nice ones. <laughs> At the end of the day, like everybody dreams of the way they want their lives to pan out. If we don't align on, on how we should plan our finances and whatnot, it's very hard to reach the long-term goals. One in four Singaporeans have had relationships crumble over money issues. But what's the top reason for these fights? And can it be avoided? Discover the survey findings on Money Smart.